Hi guys, so we're in the kitchen and I know you're like, isn't this a gardening video? But yes, it is. I am propagating some basil that I purchased from the store. Yes, I have basil growing, but I'm planting basil so that I have fresh cut basil for the market that starts April 21st. And then the rest of it can take its time growing and then I won't be stressed. But um, if you buy basil, um, it's really easy to propagate, um, really easy. Um, and that's why I got this big fluffy plant because from this fluffy plant, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the base here, the base of it, but I'm going to cut these tops here and that'll tell the plant, Hey, I want you to make more, but it also will allow me to create out of this plant. I can probably get nine or 10 more plants. We shall see. Um, but it's really exciting uh, from this purple basil. I only see myself probably getting one clipping off here. So I'm gonna cut right in here and leave these bottom shoots here and leave this one and then plant these outside. And same with this Thai basil, I'm gonna cut one of the stems and leave the other two for outside. And then I have other basil that I'm just going to propagate. I have some jars here and when I come back, all of these jars will be full. So, but you know, I will say this, make sure when you cut, you get a nice long stem. Um, yeah, probably about right there. And remember any excess basil leaves, you can just save, you can dry and save on the side and give you, you make yourself some dried basil. But um, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do. So I will show you guys what it looks like when all of these jars are filled. And it's probably not enough jars for as much basil as I purchased. But yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> this is what the first one looks like when I'm done. And I keep egg cartons so that I can, um, for things like this, I can put all the leaves in there and let them dry uh, without any issues. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut the other ones now. <laughs> but. It's nice and it may look tiny, but once it goes into the ground, um, it'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to water it and I will put it in the ground um, when it's close to um, sunset. That way it doesn't, it has all night to soak up moisture and what have you. Um, and you know, it doesn't have to suffer right after it's been cut. So yeah, so I'm gonna get on with the rest of these. <laughs> I knew what will be plants. Oh, and I'm doing lemongrass too. So cool. So we'll probably have about 25 basil plants if they all um, grow roots. So I'll keep you guys, definitely keep you guys posted on this. And make sure like each couple of days you change out the water and you should be fine. Keep it in a nice, sunny, semi-sunny space. And this is my pile of basil to dry. It smells so good, guys. <laughs> good morning, guys. So it's super early in the morning. Well, not super early. It's about 6.30. And um, I'm outside watering everything because the temperatures have gotten so high at nighttime. So the temperatures are above 40 degrees. I leave the trays out instead of bringing them in. So I just make sure they're out of the way for the vehicles. And so um, I was bringing you out early this morning to remind everyone watching uh, when it's really hot, when you know you're gonna have a warm day, water everything early so it has time to absorb all of the water before the, you know, preferably before the sky lights up. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, over here, watered everything over here. Um, everything's growing. The squirrels keep coming back, but um, our sunflowers are getting bigger. Um, I forgot I planted those tulips in there last October, but you know, here we are. And they're gonna look beautiful, but they are squeezing out some of the um, sunflowers but as soon as they bloom I'll cut them back um, but 
I didn't bring you guys out here to give you a tour. I am going to go to the front to water up there before I go on my do my morning exercise. So I thought I would bring you all along this morning while I water everything um, before I head on out. And also to show you that I had to, ooh, whoa, you all didn't see that. There was two birds fighting and flew right in front of me. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys what I had to do for some slugs. So let's so go. Up here in the front, as you can see, I dug out a new area. Um, not too sure what I'm going to put in here. At first, I was thinking maybe some tomatoes, peppers but I've been monitoring. I did this yesterday, Sunday, today is Monday. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm trying to figure out how much sunlight this area gets and that will determine what is feasible, you know, what makes most sense to go in here. Let's see if we caught any slugs. So this is what the front looks like so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, one of my daughters was helping me because the slugs were eating my zinnia. So, she told me about the beer and yeast. Oh, there they are. So, I did catch one. I didn't do beer and yeast because I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> um, so, I just did. I said, I wonder if you just put yeast in there yeast so she found some website and it was like yeast water and um, a little bit of sugar to activate the yeast and look yeah you shouldn't leave it out because I'm getting ready to water this morning so I was like let me check these first so let's see how we did so we caught one over here who's gonna eat my, and slugs come out at night. So if you're wondering what's eating your seedlings, it's slugs. Okay. All right, so that's one. <gasps> we caught some over here, guys. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna have to go get the hubster to come get these, cause this is getting really, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do this. There's too many in there for me. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can. Oh my word. Oh, there's a ton of them in there. Oh. And see, they were eating my stuff. See, and that's what they did before but putting that in there protected the zinnia. Oh, they come out at night. So, okay, I'm gonna have to get help from the hubster really quickly. Okay, guys, um, and, <laughs> and then I'm gonna, uh, okay, that kind of creeped me out a bit, but um, interesting, so, if you didn't think the yeast thing work or the beer thing, if you don't, if you're like me and you don't drink alcohol, you can use yeast, sugar, and water, and um, it will it it acts like a trap too. So yeah, now I know it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and water the front before the sun comes up completely. So yeah. Oh, let's see if they, I didn't put any over here because it was too, like, where everybody could see. But I should have because they're over here eating my little seedlings. See, I have little ones here. But now that I know it works, I'll do it. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hello guys, same day, different uh, activity. So today, um, well it's afternoon, um, I need to pot up these, this Tulsi basil and purple basil. 
Um, this is Zinnia here. Oh, I have two that shot up. Okay. Um, so let me open this lid here. And then we have some lemon balm. That will be the only thing that I need to pot up on this tray. Um, this needs to be potted up. This is wild bergamot. So it needs to be potted up because it really can't grow anymore in here. And then last but not least, I have all of this to do. So I'm going to start with this. Um, and I'm going to put them straight into pots, those plastic pots. I'll show you. I'll show you when I get outside because they already have roots at the bottom. So it wouldn't make any sense for me to put it in another little tray because it would eventually run out of room there as well. And then I'll just be potting up again. So let me take you guys outside. So I have my soil here and I'm starting with this tray. Um, starting with this tray. The Mexican heather, will, I mean, the, this is Mexican tarragon. That's going to stay in there for a while. But I'm just doing the purple and the Tulsi basil right now. So this is my little setup on top of this styrofoam box. has my more soil inside. I'm really happy that it's overcast today. Um, but these still have to go in the shade. Uh, the rest of today because it's not going to do hold up well in the heat and light so I'll just take you through one of them I see my hand there it is here's my pot I'm trying to get it as one whole unit There's the roots. And it goes. I'm going to move it to the side, rinse and repeat. <laughs> we are on to our next tray so this is thai basil purple basil chives and lemon basil oops this is what we have completed so far and we need a whole new tray for this for these because it's a lot um the tray is a hubster made hole 25 and I think we have that covered right in here. All, all that's left is naming them. I do not know what this is. <laughs> so I'm done for today. We have chives. I found a calendula plant. No, not calendula. Cosmos seedling right there. Uh, we have lemon basil. Thai basil, purple basil, more Thai basil, um, this is Tulsi basil, lemon basil, and then down there we have wild bergamot. So I'm just going to water them all in. If you're wondering why they're over here, they're in the shade. And then these are all the trays. I like to recycle them and keep them and keep using them. So I just close them out.
going to be cleaned again. Same with that one. That's pretty much okay. just gonna really clean these out really good and then let them dry in the sun so I'm out here this morning I thought I could pot up some of my tomatoes but because they need to be potted up um, but I'm out of soil I normally oh wait a second huh I keep all of these here so I can pot things up but I do have a few things. These are okay over here. Oh. These will be going in the ground next week. Well, these tomatoes are doing pretty good. Um, I have some more. These are in smaller um, trays. These are what I had. And as you can see, and that new area I made in the front, I think I am just going to fill it with um, peppers, flowers, and um, tomatoes. Um, as well as putting tomatoes across the front. Uh, we have some, uh, I forgot what these are. <laughs> it might come to me in a second. Almost had it. But they come in red and... Um, it's a grain okay I'll remember after and put it on the screen <laughs> and we have some peppers here and yes the pots are too big right now but they're growing very well in here um, because potting up is not so much fun also um, everything will come in tonight including the eucalyptus and lemon trees and our curry leaf plant due to the fact that tonight the temperatures will be at 36 yeah around 36 I don't mind bringing them out in the morning at 36 degrees because I know the Sun is coming up and it'll warm up quickly but at nighttime it'll be 36 degrees around um, uh, 4 o'clock in the morning so take it in tonight bring it back out once is um, at least 38 degrees um, probably once the sun comes up so what I'm thinking is um, I might pot up these purple basil here these two um, look at our time and we have fever few here that's doing really well I potted that up this is Tulsi ba Tulsi basil so it's doing really well um, yeah Yeah, but I need to go to Lowe's today. I'll take you guys with me because I need some more soil. What is this? This is our dill. And oh wow. That's gonna do really well. Dill right there. We have a ton of dill over there. Um thank goodness I learned to stop watering so much because um I was checking out my chamomile, wondering why it was yellowing. Told you guys that last week and found out it was I was doing too much with the water. So I stopped and it stopped too. Stopped turning yellow so much. <laughs> and uh, look at our, this is Russian tarragon. I had to pot those up. And we have calendula here. This needs a new pot for sure. That's the Russian tarragon. And we have some um, marigold zinnias. And these are sweet banana peppers. They're doing pretty good. And this is some wild bergamot. Um, yeah. So I'll take you guys with me to Lowe's so I can get some soil. But let's see what we can pot up right now. Um, something that is um, that will benefit from a new pot, which is probably this calendula. Hmm. I think 
I'll figure it out. <laughs> I did find a Flora Sunny bouquet that I put into here on March 17th. There's the date. And it needs to go on the ground. Yeah. So I was like, where should I put you? Because that's yarrow, bee balm, uh, salvia. Uh, I put some straw flower over there, gladiola. This is the sunflower bed, so I guess I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, these sunflowers are doing pretty good over here. Huh. I don't know where to put you. Since I can put it right in the front here. Because I didn't put any of them in the front. Alright, so I had not planted up the lemon balm from the other day. So I decided to use uh, these five. Yes, there's two, four, six, eight, ten. But I'm going to group them two by two in here. And that way they'll get full fast and then I can just start over again. Um, this is rosemary here and this is peppermint here. And thankfully this peppermint is growing faster than the last time I seeded it. And because it wasn't doing very well the last time. And I put all of these rosemary seeds in but so far those are the only two that germinated. So... It's all good. Now I'm just going to finish them all up. So, I'm going to finish it up here this weekend. Remember two weeks ago I started some okra seeds? Was it two weeks? Maybe it was a week and a half. But these things shot up. So, I had to pot these up today. I potted up some more things that were getting root bound in the pots and couldn't wait till the market. Which is in two weeks. Yeah. Nervous. Um... Yeah, is an understatement. Excited, nervous, but anyway, I couldn't leave. I didn't want to leave the seedlings in smaller pots that were getting root bound, and so I just used these recycled pots that I have. And all of these seedlings are five bucks each. Um, oh, and last but not least, before we go. Our chamomile is starting to bud up. It's starting to have flowers. So, anyway. <sighs> so much to do. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, okay, bye.